Uh, having a full stomach would actually be great. I'm a little worried that that might use up way too much of our resources, but hey, at least we'll have the energy to be able to get through a lot. All right, pups, are you guys ready? Food time. Chow down, pups. That lucky shot with the caribou is definitely going to help us out. Here, you guys go ahead and eat up. I wish I could give you a full meal, but at least this will hopefully get us far into the forest. Yay, and we've actually fed the pups a full meal. Ah, good, I definitely want to be taking good care of them. And we've barely even gotten started, but you know what? I'm sure everything's gonna turn out fine. Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Red Lantern, where we're currently working on a wild run, following our dog's instincts and letting them decide on where we are going in order to try to reach our cabin. So far, we've had both Noodle and Slayer actually pick the directions we've gone in, and it's resulted in really adorable weasels, Bodega being able to defend our food from weasels, and Slayer finding our way. Pets, pets, pets. Good girl. And Slayer finding our way to a very far away caribou that we were able to get so that everybody has full stomachs. But all right, pups ready? Let's go ahead and do this. We're still searching for Slayer's story and any other unexpected events that happen now that we have mixed our dog teams. I really thought maybe we had discovered everything that's out here in the Alaskan wilderness, but that's not true. We actually fell through the ice to the north last time and almost died. We were going to be little popsicles at the bottom of a frozen lake, probably never ever found for the rest of forever. And Bodega saved us. We've gone on so many runs with Bodega before, but because we actually mixed in Slayer and Noodle on this team this time, it seems like Bodega actually had different events that triggered and different things that happened for him. There are still hundreds of outcomes that we could probably discover with our dogs here. So even though it feels like we're going on the same old run, everything is always so fresh and different and new. It really makes me want to go outside and explore the wilds myself. One day, once everything's safe again, one of my dreams is to be able to take you guys with me as we actually do that for real. Exploring the world that we all share together, finding the beautiful things about it to really cherish. We'll get there. But for now, back on the trail, Back pups. on the trail? Let's get back out there. Let's see what we can find this time. Hopefully a tool. That'd be nice. So that we can go ahead and, you know, gear up for making the run with this mm. particular dog team Let's even go. better. All right, pups, it's up to you. Ha or G, on you guys. Hmm. <clears throat> and you know, I do love the roleplay idea. Let's see who does. Chomper, Chomper's taking the lead this time. But I do love the roleplay idea that perhaps we actually were on a very, very wild run being chased by wolves uh, or something. Noodle? Should I be scared? What is that? Oh, it's Charmigans! Hey, let's go ahead and let the dogs eat them. Oh, hello. Hi, little guys. Can I talk to them for just a second? Oh, but I do, okay. You know what? Dogs have full tummies. No. Uh, oh, well, let's let okay, the dogs get them. call. You're gonna try to get yourselves a meal. Hold. Hold. Okay, go! Sheesh. Y'all are great at catching these birds. Maybe we shouldn't try to have chickens at our new home. <laughs> I don't need eggs. I think I like these ptarmigans. Y'all look very full. Nice! We've got plenty of energy you to know, run now. Y'all don't have to follow me. Chomper's prey drive probably Let's led us to there. that event, too. That's at least what I'm thinking. Alright, onwards, pups. And with the ptarmigans, there's only one journal entry for them, and we've already gotten it, so I feel pretty confident that we've learned everything we need to about ptarmigans. Mm, I mean, you know, at least for the sake of the journal. If it was real life, I would definitely be out admiring the ptarmigans all the time. Oh, look at that! An elk! So majestic. You okay, Slayer? You're looking a little more skittish than normal. Come on, come on! Wait, I said I was gonna check it out! <sighs> Slayer, you can't just run from it. Okay, fine. We'll leave... All right, so Slayer ran from the elk again. I think that was a female elk. It didn't have any, I mean, obviously, it didn't have any antlers. And I think this is the time of year they, the males would normally have antlers. And Chomper's still taking the lead. Nice. Chomps, see if you can find us one of the tools that we are going to save for roleplay purposes we accidentally Stop. dropped and left behind. Uh-oh. Oh, skunk. Great. Should I go ahead and inspect it? I guess. We haven't done that yet. I cannot believe you just did that to us. It's not like we tried to run up on you. And now here we are, and you're just wandering about. Ugh, I suppose I don't really want to eat you now. Or that smell is a part of you. 
<laughs> Does the smell ever leave? There we go. And we also are going to be making these very odd choices, even though we are trying to look for our tools and Slayer Story, because we want to investigate each and every one of the little adventures that are out here and fill out the journal as much as possible. You know what? Let's see if the dogs can try to catch it. I don't care to know if you taste like you smell, but I have some friends who might not mind. Oh, you were keeping an eye on Bodega. I should have known you're always down for a snack. <laughs> Oh, but I did it! Ones. You pups ready to get back out there? Looks like you've got some extra zest for life now. Let's do it. Nice! So now Bodega has some extra energy too. Y'all ready? This is fun! I feel like ready the team go? is really discovering things out here in the wild that normally we wouldn't. And it's really exciting to be able to try choosing options that we haven't done before, even if they're not optimal. Oh hey! Wonderful! The creepy abandoned cabin! I've never been so excited to see it before. Okay, so there's just a creepy abandoned cabin sitting over there. Um, we are absolutely going to go ahead. No answer. That probably means it's safe, right? Do we check it out? Absolutely. I'm sure it'll be fine. I love creepy abandoned Do I cabins. Knock? I should knock, right? Come on, it's missing half a wall. We could at least get some wood from in here, I hope. Oh, the squirrel! Wow, you have a lovely home. <laughs> All right, let's try talking this out. Do you know the squirrel abundance number here? I'm just curious. Oh, whoa, okay. Less words, more getting the hell out of here. Got it. Cute. I'm back. Let's go, Chomper. All right, not the gun cleaner I was hoping for, but hey! At least we managed to talk with a squirrel. I love doing that on a daily basis. Trust me. One time I made my husband a calendar for Christmas that was entirely made up of squirrel pictures that we had taken it. over the air. No joke. It was adorable. I think I showed it off on a really old update vlog. Oh, I miss all of the big fat fox squirrels that we used to have in Michigan. Hey, Slayer! Yeah, She's gone ahead and picked the way we're going. Doing pretty well. I mean, we're... Bodega, there is not a meal you won't protect, but we're making our way. We might already be out of food, but I I'm sure we'll be fine. Oh, I'm really proud of our dogs. So Slayer has picked the way twice on this run. I'd love to know what run like Igby picking something would do, but we'll just have to be patient. All right, what's going to come up around the next snowbank? Look out! Oh, great. Stay back! You! Uh, okay, definitely gonna... I can't try shooting it, so let's just keep yelling. Get out of here! The dogs are right there. Iggy! Slayer! Leave them. Do you see how she's being so brave? Um, you don't want to do this. Why don't you try that on me? We outnumber you by a lot! Maybe not in pounds, though. Oh, those muscles. That works? No! Yeah, that didn't work. Muskox. You okay? Higgy, did you protect all of us? Oh, oh. God, girl, are you hurt? Okay, you just you just get in the sled. We'll be okay. We'll, we'll get you taken care of. Look at how Chomper is watching her. It's okay. Get in the sled. You don't need to run right now. Oh, Iggy girl. Oh, and because she's hurt, we've actually lost the vast majority of the food that we had. Let's go, Chomper. Igloo! My heart! Let's set up camp as soon as we can. I am healing her, like, immediately. Let's rest. All right, let's all go ahead. This is a good spot to rest. We're going to rest, and then when we wake up, we're going to... Well, let's heal Iggy first. There you go, Igloo. There you go. Good girl. Oh, I'm trying to protect us like that. I can't believe you were willing to risk yourself for the team, bud. You're a good leader, Igloo. She is a good and girl. Chopper seems to adore you. And he does. <laughs> I think you like him too. I love that they're having pups in our Sims 4 series with them. I've actually gone on a lot of adventures that you guys will see over the coming weeks with them already, but I need to go ahead and redo Iggy in those adventures too. She has a much lighter coat than I remember and those beautiful honey brown eyes. Iggy, you're such a good girl. 
Chomps, what do you think about all that drama? Am I gonna tell you I shouldn't, I shouldn't have brought, brought you? you? Yep. I just have to keep going. Let's try giving you another pet. Just to see what happens. I take this mitten off, but I fear frostbite. <laughs> I don't think anything can get her down for very long when we have all of these good pups with us. Let's go ahead and take a little bit of a nap. Every time to get some rest. I'm sure my stomach will be grumbling by morning, but the dogs will be energized. Well, should we go to sleep? A good all nap right. for everybody. Everyone feeling better? And let's go ahead and hit the trail. I don't think that this run is going to last much longer, but I'm so proud of everybody. Maybe a bit of a massage. Keep you loose for the trail. We're going to figure out what's in that little heart of yours soon, Slayer. I'm determined. Let's do this. And we'll not back get on the trail? terribly far, let's but maybe we'll there. stumble upon something before we need to start all over again. And really, honestly, I feel like the dogs have been doing a great job. Following their wild instincts to try to get us home, so far it's led us into several adventures we haven't had yet. So we're going to continue to let the dogs take the lead. It's pretty exciting letting them do that too. Hey, Noodle's going to go ahead and choose where we're going. No, 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 no panicking, no panicking, no panicking. Um, whatever's meant to be will be. We found the test we wanted. I like choosing all of the different options now and trying to see what we think as we continue to try to make our way across the wilderness here. Okay, creepy, creepy. <gasps> axe, creepy axe, just lit up glowing in the distance. That's fine, totally fine. There's so many tree stumps over there. Yes! I'd feel a lot more comfortable if it didn't just feel like people disappeared here. Well, there's an axe here. And we're taking it. I am just going to uh, take this. Don't mind if I do. Also, I would prefer to be the one holding the axe in this scenario. It feels like if you turn around, someone might sneak up behind you. Let's see. Finders keepers this time. Uh, I kind of feel like maybe I'm just rationalizing theft. But if I don't take it, someone else will, right? Well, should I try this out? Seems to be plenty of birch here. Nice. Not gonna really help us with the food and the That's whole surviving so much thing. Than ripping this off by hand. But all of the future like runs we do here. with this team will be easier. Not that we need a fire since we don't have any food to cook. We can start a fire at camp now. I think we're done here. Let's go. And I wonder if the axe could come in useful for other things. Mostly it seems like we've only... No, it does! Like when we find the frozen deer. Whenever we stumble upon know, them, then we actually use the axe to be able to get the food. And I don't think we would be able to get the food off the frozen deer carcass otherwise. Ugh, frozen deer carcass. That just is kind of creepy, isn't it? Hey, Noodle's taking the lead again. Noodle, good boy! You're the one who actually took the lead on the last choice that brought us to the axe. And hey, now we ran by a river, so we're really filling Someone out all those little- watching us. Wait, what? Someone's watching us? Um, creepy. <gasps> the deer. Okay. You might not staring at me like that. You gonna attack me? You're closest, so I'm gonna go with you. All right, how's this gonna go down? Oh, really? Okay. Oh, I got that's it. What I was going for. That's probably the wind. Yes! No way! That was a good diversion. I can't believe Another it. Another meal, ready to go. Noodle, good choice again. We should probably eat. <laughs> What are you guys doing? What is this? What Bodega? Iggy. What kind of adorableness is that? Oh right, my gosh. Let's be safe out there. They are ridiculously cute dogs. Alright. Let's go Should ahead and camp? camp. I can't believe it. Sure, I'm still this injured. Is a good spot to rest. From, you know, my arch enemy. Would be nice. At least I'm well. There we go. Huh, sure. I'm still injured from my arch enemy, the muskox, and we're getting kind of low on resources, but we actually have the axe now. Yes! Oh, that's at least a tool that we can use again and again on our runs with these dogs. And I'm just shocked. Honestly, the last couple days we've gone on runs with them, we have learned something new every time. It makes me just feel so excited once again. That's why I think curiosity is one of the most important things that you can do to really change your life. 
If you can stay curious about everything, about who you are, about what the world has to offer, about your skills, about everything, then you're never bored. Not only that, but I feel like curiosity is the first key to hope. And the more curious I became in my life, the more I actually became more hopeful. The more I started maybe being curious about trying out things that would make me feel more confident in myself. And eventually I started becoming curious enough to believe in myself, which I definitely didn't always do. Curious enough to wonder what would happen if I talked to Chips for the first time and then we ended up falling in love and now I live out a daily love story with the love of my life, who's now my husband. And curious enough to go ahead and try to share adventures. Curious enough to try new things. Curiosity, to me, is really the root of hope. And hope leads to everything else that's so good and wonderful in life. Including loving yourself. But alright, pups, there's my little fireside story tell for all of you tonight. I'm feeling pretty optimistic. And we're going to go ahead and fill up our stomachs and then get back on the trail and see where we go next time. Still haven't figured out Slayer's story, but again, every run we go on is so different and so new. And that's just going to mean that the more effort and work we put into trying to find out Slayer's story, the more excited we're going to be when we finally, finally, finally get there. But alright guys, if you guys could, do please leave a like for all of our good pups. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.